It's Dark Side Phil's Worst Gaming Trends of 2014. Number 2. Triple-A, overhyped, over-advertised games that seem to have put more effort towards their marketing than actually developing an original product. Now, this has happened many times before in gaming history, but I think in 2014 with the launch of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 that had just happened late in the previous year, we had two particular games that were the biggest offender, by far. Titanfall on the Xbox One and PC, as well as Destiny on all platforms, ended up being the most overhyped, overpromising, underwhelming, and underdelivering games that we've seen probably in the past decade. Titanfall ended up being just a rehash and combination of gameplay from games like Unreal Tournament, Call of Duty, and Mech Warrior. There was really nothing original about the game at all, and the game had such limited content upon launch that after playing it after a few days, most people had unlocked everything and said, what the hell am I supposed to be doing with this game? Destiny again, mostly a combination and rehash of games such as Halo and Borderlands, with almost no originality. The enemies literally ripped it and stolen from other games. Only one hub town, not even having as much content as the games I just referenced that they stole from. It's ridiculous that these two games from huge AAA studios came out the way that they did. However, due to an insane amount of marketing, these two games had great sales and overall ended up being financial successes despite the fact that they weren't very good. I can still tell you about an ad that I still see on television today about how Destiny is so great. And when the game first came out, the literal advertisement line was, it's not just a game, it's an experience. Yeah, it's an underwhelming, unoriginal, boring, repetitive experience that everyone's only playing because you put millions of dollars into the advertisement campaign to shove it down everyone's throats. And I hate to say it, but there's too many people in this day and age that just turn on their TV and see an ad or they go online and see an ad oh if this game is being advertised it's got to be good and all my friends say they're going to play it so i got to check it out there's too many people of that mentality these were two games that didn't deserve anyone's hard-earned money this year and quite honestly if i'd have known they were as bad as they were and if i didn't want to give it a shot and actually review it fairly i wouldn't have bought them they're terrible there's not really anything original about either one there's no reason to play either one you can completely skip them and not miss out on anything in gaming for the year of 2014 but if you watch the advertisement you would think that these were the two biggest games of the year i would find it few and far between of one honest reviewer who actually puts this in their top games of 2014. They're that boring, that repetitive, and that unoriginal. We need to stop believing what people say about these games because you have to realize when you put so much money into the advertisement budget, the reason you see so many advertisements is probably because that's what they need to rely on to sell their damn games. Both Titanfall and Destiny, overhyped, underdelivered. what a bunch of stinkers. Well, oh no. This is it, everyone. Coming up next, it's number one. The biggest piece of stinky shit that happened to gamers in the year of 2014, and we all walked away with egg on our faces, no matter whether we were involved with it or not. Let's take a look. <laughs> 